Welcome to Embedded World here in Nuremberg. Uh, I'm now together with uh, Rahman Chamal from National Instruments and uh, we will be talking about the Internet of Things and uh, Industry 4.0. So, um, one thing which uh, made its way uh, into the measurement and automation uh, environment now is also disruption. So let's talk about disruption. What does this mean? Yes. So the term disruption itself reminds us of the term destruction. Uh, and it sounds a bit negative, but actually it's not. It's about uh, you know, turning the market upside down through a new technology and ex you know, replacing existing ecosystem through a new one. Um, and then uh, the whole thing is triggered through new technologies coming in and then it kind of builds a fertile ground for new things to evolve. Uh, there are a number of examples from the commercial world, like for example Apple, who has disrupted uh, the traditional market uh, of standalone devices, consumer devices like MP3 players, navigation system or cameras, through a very software-centric platform and an ever-growing ecosystem. Um, and if you look at it closely, um, you have a similar phenomenon also in the test and measurement world, where NI has been disrupting this market the last 40 years uh, with a software-centric platform which is open and an ever-growing ecosystem where there is a major paradigm shift from a closed box-centric uh, solutions to more of a user-defined solution. And this is particularly important in the context of IoT and Industry 4.0 and its success. Um, you were just mentioning the the phrase is Internet of Things, Industrial Internet of Things, and uh, Industry 4.0. So what is the difference really between industrial IoT and Industry 4.0? So there is sometimes a bit of a confusion in terms of you know, what these terms mean, but actually it's very simply explained. Um, IIoT uh, is you know, a number of applications. They all begin with the attribute smart, like smart grid, uh, smart mobility, uh, smart health, but also smart factory. And the term smart factory, if you will, is another term for Industry 4.0 in Germany, Industrie 4.0. And to answer the question in short, Industry 4.0 is a subset of IIoT applications. Okay. So we here in Nuremberg at the Embedded World Exhibition, so and normally uh, there are new announcements, exciting new technologies to see. So what are the highlights at your uh, stand? Okay, so we have two highlights uh, at this show. So the first one is uh, around uh, the hot topic of TSN, time sensitive networks. Uh, it is an emerging Ethernet standard um, that uh, addresses a number of shortcomings of existing um, networks. Uh, for example, latency, uh, interoperability, security, bandwidth. Um, and to address that, uh, a number of vendors like ABB, National Instruments, Bosch, BNR, um, Schneider, um, TT Tech, and others have come together to evaluate uh, TSN as a new standard, Ethernet-based standard, uh, to address applications like Industry 4.0 or IIoT applications. And um, under the umbrella of the IIC, Industrial Internet Consortium, we've created a testbed together uh, that evaluates TSN, TSN with OPC UA as a communication standard. And we have actually physically built uh, this testbed in Austin, but we are also showing it at our booth here in, um, in, at the Embedded World. Uh, this was the first one, but you mentioned you have two highlights. Yes, exactly. So the, the, the um, testbed that I was referring to is also being showcased in Austin, uh, where we have recently created an IoT lab uh, that's the second uh, highlight, if you will, um, where you're not only looking at TSN and its applicability to applications, but also many other uh, IIoT applications like microgrid that I just mentioned, or um, uh, control for manufacturing, advanced control, or asset monitoring for heavy equipment, uh, and also other test beds that are initiated uh, through IIC and where NI is playing a big role. And this IoT lab uh, is, um, was created together with a number of vendors like PTC, uh, Cisco, National Instruments of course, um, HPE, Xilinx, Intel. And the purpose of it is to bring together uh, domain experts to foster discussions 
uh, around this, uh, around the IIoT applications. And I think this will fundamentally change the way business is done uh, in the future. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.